well-respected Israeli journalist, journalist by another well-respected uh, Jewish American journalist, Max Blumenthal. This interview happened at the APAC conference in Washington. And in the interview, Gideon Levy said that if you want to understand the way the Palestinian people are living with us under what is fundamentally an apartheid regime, you should go to Hebron. And so I went to Hebron, and what I saw there was, without any doubt, an apartheid regime. I saw a, an indigenous population that had been expelled ethnically from the commercial center of Hebron, segregated from the commercial center of Hebron, living under a brutal military occupation, not permitted to walk in streets that were exclusively reserved to a small settler Jewish population. And in that little enclave, I even saw posters uh, on who, on who, uh, that, 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 that showed the face of a man named Mayor Ettinger. Mayor Ettinger is a fanatical Israeli settler who firebombed the home of a Palestinian family in 2015 and caused an 18-month-old Palestinian baby to be burned to death and both his parents to be burned to death. And those posters there in the center of Hebron were calling for Mayor Ettinger to be liberated. He was in the minds of these settlers a hero. This is the regime under which the Palestinian people live. It is being done openly and notoriously, and it is being done with the complete and unequivocal support of the Canadian government. We were here today to express solidarity with the Palestinian people, and I think it's incumbent upon us to reflect upon what solidarity means. Solidarity does not mean simply being lip service to the notion that the Palestinian people have human rights and that they're entitled to the same rights as the rest of us. It also means backing up those principles with action. The Canadian government only pays lip service to the notion that Palestinian lives matter as much as other lives. On the website of the Foreign Ministry, you can see a statement that these settlements constitute a violation of the Fort Geneva Convention. That is absolutely true. You will also see a statement that the settlements are a serious obstacle to peace. That is absolutely true. But in December of last year, when the United Nations put forward a resolution calling for the self-determination of the Palestinian people, which was supported by 177 nations, eight nations voted against. Israel, the United States, four or five small island states, and Canada. The Canadian government refused to endorse the basic notion that the Palestinian people are entitled to self-determination. That is not solidarity, that is betrayal. It is betrayal of the most fundamental values that are supposed to define our nation. It is a betrayal of the Palestinian people. The Canadian government does not speak for me when it comes to Palestinian rights. He doesn't speak for any Canadian of good conscience, Justin Trudeau, because he will not give effect to the words that he uses in his lofty rhetoric. It's all just lip service, it's not solidarity. I came here today to stand in solidarity with the Palestinian people because they are oppressed. And I am on the side of the oppressor, as are all of you. Thank you for being here today. Thank you.